Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here with another video and this one is going to be on things that 343 can do to improve Warzone, not just in Halo 5 but in Halo 6. And this all assumes that 343 wants to carry over Warzone anyways instead of focusing on, you know, big team or firefights, stuff like that. Uh, if they really want to make Warzone like a flagship game mode, these are some of the things that I think personally can really have a, a positive effect on the game mode. Halo needs a more social casual experience in my opinion. I've always said that it needs to be able to keep players of all caliber interested and with the foundation with rankings and competitive play and grinding to, to see that CSR go up, I really feel like a certain type of player gets left behind. And I think that 343 needs to take a long look at their social playlists and I think Warzone is also a, a big opportunity for them to take advantage of all types of players. The so one community that you can utilize is the Forge content creators. I feel like there's a ton of potential out there. And I really think that 343 could hold bi-monthly competitions, you know, nothing too long, but every two months have a competition where Forge creators can make maps and things and you know give them the tools to be able to create bosses and things like that and have the top one to three maps in rotation and you know maybe make the number one map a permanent part of uh, the regular rotation of maps so that, that constantly has an influx of content for people to play and create and with that I think that there needs to be more environment interaction I think that Warzone in itself is a simulation game within that world and it's so linear i think that there needs to be like weather changes randomized bosses with randomized spawn locations for not just the bosses but for enemies in general i think that the war zone experience is way too linear it's it's the same thing over and over and over again you know where bosses are going to spawn you know where everybody you know the bases and stuff like everything is so linear i think that they need to randomize it to truly make it better Another aspect that they could utilize, especially in bringing content to the game, is, you know, like every month you have a historical battle type of thing. So it could incorporate past battles or lore that's even outside the game, such as in the books and the, like all the there's there's a plethora of lore out there that they can take from that. And they can they could take stuff from Reach. They could take, you know, a flood simulation and just have that a monthly playlist for that it would be so cool if you could go out there and you're fighting each other but you're also fighting against a flood invasion and that's where the simulation part comes in i really hope that they take advantage of that aspect and really utilize all the creative ideas that there are out there another thing that i would really like to see is a smarter ai system both for your team so the marines that are like chilling relaxing in the bases and stuff and the world enemies the marines like i don't know what do they do they just chillax you know they're like collecting their paycheck they don't really want to die they don't really want to fight they're just kind of like there and the world enemies are kind of dumb sometimes and i just feel like the the overall ai needs to be revamped i really would like to see you know marines hop in a warthog or something with you sometimes that happens i've seen instances where a marine jumps in like a tank and I, there needs to be more of that and maybe have like turrets or something maybe you could click one and tell him to go man a turret the next thing i would do would i i really think that there should be some type of wreck protection in the game so if you're immediately killed um or you, you haven't fired that weapon that you just bought, the game will allow you to spawn with that loadout again. And that that allows people who are scared to use their high-end stuff like Norn Fang or any type of uh, you know wasp or something that they're just scared that they're just gonna get you know blown out of the sky to have the ability to use that wreck again. And it's not like you're like, oh my god, either I wasted money because I bought gold packs to get this wreck in the first place. Or you just don't feel sad because you you literally went the whole game trying to get to rank seven, eight, nine, ten, and you lose it within five seconds, and your teammate picks it up or an enemy team or yeah an enemy team member. So I would like to see some type of wreck protection. One other point I would like to see addressed is the combat snowballing, and that's an issue in a ton of games. You know, from Battlefield and Battlefront, kind of Overwatch, but it's it's very hard to 
come back when you fall behind you know a certain point from the other team and you just get steamrolled and that kind of eliminates the fun so i do agree if you suck and your team is like terrible you should lose honestly like there's no reason that the other team you know there shouldn't be handicaps or anything like that per se like you get a dex or damage boost or something in the last five minutes i don't think it should be like that at all but i think it would be cool if there was like a not a world boss but like a boss for your own team that spawns if you're getting destroyed by the other team and it'll assist your team and be super difficult for the other team to defeat so while the other team is focusing on taking that boss out you have the opportunity to go take back like a garage or a barracks or anything like that so i think that that would be kind of cool maybe have like pelicans fly in or i don't know just anything that kind of eliminates a certain point of snowballing i think would be greatly appreciated in the game another thing that i've thought about uh i really don't want to split playlist up too much but an 8v8v8 warzone battle i think would be so cool with you know i i I don't know if that's possible on the current hardware. Maybe they'll utilize the Xbox One X or something like that. I just think that would be super cool to actually have three teams going at it instead of just Team A and Team B constantly fighting. I would really like to see a third team involved. The last thing that I've thought about, and it might not be well received, but it's just a, a different idea, would be a pick a class system similar to like Battlefield, and you unlock the Rex while playing that class. So. You can have, like, for the sake of descriptions and stuff, you'd have an engineer, a scout, a salt, and, like, an EOD type of class. So, the engineer is good with taking out vehicles, and he can utilize vehicle power upgrades. Scout would be your long-range class. And can also utilize things like camo. You can sneak around and everything. Assault would be basically your standard killing machine and can utilize upgrades that pertain to that maybe like speed boost or damage boost maybe the overshield stuff and then you have an eod class that would specialize in heavy weapons like the spanker or rocket launchers anything like that that just blows up so that's gonna do it for the video those are a couple of my ideas i would love to hear yours down below in the comments let me know what you think if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like if you want to see more halo content make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next video